Hi, nobles. I am just pulling in the gate. And I wanted just to take a minute to say how excited I am to be a Nile Shriner. Every time I pull into this gate, I see the fantastic work that our landscaping crew has done, keeping the golf course going. Um, and this time of year, the golf course is it's just alive. The whole place is alive. We've got great um, events going on thanks to our new caterer that's moved in. The 19th, uh, 19th hole is, is up and running again and has great food. Um, events are being scheduled in, in uh, all of our rentable spaces, so that's fantastic. Uh, the place is alive. Um, and every time I come in here, I'm always very thankful of those Nile Shriners who I've got to stop and wait for somebody to hit here. Those Nile Shriners who, back in the '60s, set aside this little chunk of property um, as kind of a backup, a uh, little little place for Seattle Nile Shriners to go hang out. Um, but yet we had our temple, um, had our temple down in Seattle, and then when that um, got sold, we had a place to retreat to. And this is not every not every shrine temple has this. Um, you read about uh, shrine temples uh, throughout the fraternity who have had to sell their buildings because they're not making a profit. They can't make their property taxes. Um, that is not a not a challenge that that we at Nile have now. We did a few years ago, um, and many of you know those stories. And we had great nobles step up and help take care of those issues, and, and we're back on the right path. Um, but I love this place. I love the fraternity. Um, I'm excited about the nobles. There are great people who come here. Um, there are great people who work here. Uh, being a Nile Shriner is one of the best parts of my day. We'll see you next time.